Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into a fantastic video today. Today, we're gonna find out if Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is really back with this A122. Before we do that though, as always, please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Helps us out a ton, so, so much. Helps us out, and we appreciate that so much. But let's get into this video. So, this video, what are we really doing here? So, I have the Elijah Craig A122 with me today. And I'm putting it up blind up against the two batches from last year that I have C921 and B521 to figure out is Elijah Craig barrel proof really back. So we can all agree, or most of us can agree, that 2020 batches were significantly better than 2021 batches. 2021, they slipped a little, they lost a step. So I've heard, I've seen a lot of people say that this A122 and B522, which unfortunately has not hit Arizona yet, but a lot of people have said that this A122 is back. Like this is fantastic. I mean, me personally, I would say Elijah Craig barrel proof has always been fantastic, but the 2020 batches were way better than the 2021. So with the 2022, did they really step it up a bit? So I got three glasses blindly poured in front of me and I'm gonna go ahead and try them and see which one is best. Starting off with my branded Glencairn on the nose. Ooh, ooh, I love ECBBs, ECCBBs. Geez, that's like a tongue twister, but I love this stuff. It's, it's dark, chocolatey, you know, natural peanut buttery caramels brown sugars i mean it's an ecbp on the nose like i mean if we're gonna be honest that's kind of like the notes i'm gonna get on all of this so i'm gonna kind of more do like an a b comparison type stuff instead of you know pulling out specific notes because i can only say it's like chocolate peanut butter dark chocolate so many times in a video before you guys just click next so let's get into the next one, which is gonna be my Bourbon Junkies Glencairn, or I'll call it B. Ooh. This one's more like caramel, brown sugar. Little less nuttier. A little bit more of like a milk chocolate instead of a dark chocolate. And let's get into C, which is gonna be the Westward Glencairn. This one's a little lighter on the nose. Still picking up like those same like dark oak, you know, dark chocolate, peanut butter notes, but it's more of like caramely, caramel, caramel, caramely than the, you know, B. Yeah, B's a little bit more chocolate forward as well. Yeah, out of the noses, which is, is me just blindly going back and back and back and back. I'm gonna say, ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna go BAC, nose wise. B's so far my favorite. Let's go ahead and get on the palettes. Let's get with A. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Elijah Craig, Barrel Proofs. It's so much chocolate. Chocolate, peanut butter. It's honestly, every time I try it, it's like a bougie Reese's peanut butter cup. Like not a Reese's peanut butter cup, but like a fancy brand. Reese's peanut butter cups, like a Trader Joe's, like some sort of, you know, specialty grocery store peanut butter cup with like oak, brown sugar, caramels. Let's go ahead and get on B. Ooh, much more peanut, very, very peanut forward. 
a weird like bitter like tannic oak about mid palate there. Going back to A. Ooh, yeah, A's palate. I like much better than B. Ooh, I mean, again, they're all good. I like all these bottles. I've drank them several times on their own, but I'm gonna say A is a little bit better than B on the palate. So, so far, I think A overall is the most balanced out of all of them. Let's go ahead and get on the palate to see. Ooh. Hmm. There's a little bit of like a funky oak on that one. Very funky oak. Yeah. Ooh. No. Hmm. Comparatively, I think C C's funky. It has some funky oak. Funky, like bitter oak. Mm. I would say these are relatively close. I mean, to to a degree. I would say A, for sure, my favorite. We're not gonna get too deep in the woods about like, oh, A, B, 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 A, A, A. Um, I'm gonna say I like A better. I think A is a little bit more balanced than the other ones not any funky tannic oak. So without further ado, let's see which one is A. A is gonna be Elijah Craig B521. B is going to be A122. And then westward is C921. So C, so C was that 921 batch. I don't know if any of you all remember. Hopefully I remember to actually post it up there, but I didn't actually quite love the um, C batch of last year. Didn't really love it. Didn't like, it, it just didn't quite get me there. Had a little bit of like a funky note on it. And I definitely picked that up on this flight. So, my favorite ended up being the B batch of last year. So I would say maybe it's not quite there, but also, you know, the A122 was B in this flight. And I said B was, the palate was less good, but the nose was fantastic. The nose, super, super good. There's just some funky bitter oak compared to B521 of last year on this A122. Yeah, it's about mid palate. This is weird, like funky, bitter oak. Again, I like it. It's really freaking good. But I did have to give it to A, which is gonna be B521, which was my favorite Elijah Craig barrel proof of last year. So, you know, I don't know what I learned here today. I relearned that the C batch of last year didn't really care for. The B batch of last year, I really liked. And then the A batch of this year, pretty close to that B batch of last year. Uh, a lot of people said it was like miles above their like, oh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is back. To me, they never really fell off. They just weren't as good as those 2020 batches. And I mean, if we're gonna be full, fully honest, have not tried any batches before B520. So, I don't really know if I have room to speak on this, but I would say Elijah Craig Bear Proof is still Elijah Craig Bear Proof. They're still fan freaking tastic. So if you can find a bottle in today's market, sub $100, don't freaking hesitate to pick it up because they're fantastic and you will not regret any of it at all. The A batch of this year is good. The B521 batch of last year, fantastic. If you find anything with a 2020 batch, buy it if you find you know if you find an ecbp buy it the only one i haven't really loved was the c batch of last year that's it that's it but yeah um so the question the question of the day is elijah craig bear proof back i'm gonna answer that question with the question did they ever leave that's a wrap for this video though folks please do me a favor like comment and subscribe 
Let us know what you guys thought about this video. Let us know what you guys thought about ECBP. Also, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for all that stuff is down there below. But that's a wrap for this video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.